This is another Music Radio Creative, Music Radio Creative tutorial. Now you're probably wondering how I put together that funky intro while well, all the elements I just used were completely free even for commercial use. So Premiere Pro templates including transitions, the motion graphics I used, the stock video, even the music that's playing right now underneath my voice, I'm using for free from a resource called Mixkit and they were cool enough to sponsor this video. I'll show you exactly how I put all of these templates, transitions, motion graphics together and a cool tip coming towards the end for using background music in your videos too. Stick around, let's dive in. Okay, I'm going to show you the real nuts and bolts of how everything pieces together, but if you want to grab free Premiere Pro templates, stock assets like music and video clips for your creation, just go to mrc.fm forward slash mixkit. That's mrc.fm forward slash mixkit. Really think it's cool that they're supporting us uh, with these free assets we can use even for commercial reasons. Over on the website, I went to the stock video section first of all and typed in audio to the search and here we go, some great audio videos here that I can use. So I went in and downloaded and immediately the download starts like that. Boom. It's amazing. And for the background track that you're hearing now, stock music, house and electronica, my favorite genre, of course, house fest. That's the track bubbling away right now. Downloaded that. And then the free Premiere Pro templates are all here in the Premiere Pro section. I grabbed the three, 3D spin transition here, the multi-circle transition and the frame split transition. And then for that motion graphics at the start, the kinetic motion text all here and again down download comes as a zip file, mp4 file, mp3, depending what format you're working with, and then you can get back to Premiere and start creating. So let's start with a motion text and that's uh, Mixkit Kinetic Motion. It appears as a folder once you unzip it with a Premiere Pro project. So let's open that up and it really is very easy to edit. So you get the stock kind of mix kit stuff. And then to edit, you just go into the edit folder. You look for the titles folder here, double click and then double click on the text and you type in what your new title should be. So this and then this one should be is and then title three. Let's make it music radio creative. Music radio creative. There we go. Back to the full mix and look at that. This is music radio creative. Love that glitch as well. That's really super cool, isn't it? Uh, and then when you're happy with that, you just literally select the part that you want and you drag and drop onto your project. This is so cool. So easy to do. Uh, so there we go. Let's play. So we've got so far, we've got this, this is, is another music radio. Okay, so we're going to drag Music Radio Creative and we're going to put that somehow over here. So that syncs up. Music Radio Creative. Oh, brilliant. Love it. Absolutely love it. We could even sync it like this. So it's Music Radio Creative. Yeah, let's let's keep that. Let's keep that over there. I'm quite liking where that is. And then is. is, is so we've got this is another okay and let's sync that up with some music now so we know what we're working with so again you can see the uh kinetic text is already in there back to my finder and let's go back up a level and bring in the mix kit house fest track here it is drag and drop onto the audio track just going to go into the audio view here and make sure that audio 2 is faded down a bit just so we can hear the speech while i'm editing so let's play this if. Okay, that's good, but not quite good enough. I just want to get that on the beat. Done a bit of pre-editing here, so this should fit now. This is another Music Radio Creative tutorial. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, so what are we going to do now? Okay, so we've got this. This is. is. This is. Let's get that on the beat. So the beat is around there. Let's start there. This is. Okay, uh, let's move that up a little bit so we can see more of my this face. Is this this is another? This is, and we we can cut this however we want. So I might cut this earlier. So when I say another, this is another. And then we can also start to bring in some of the cool transitions and stock video. So let's see what stock video we've got. Uh, let's bring in these um, VU meters here. And I, again, it's just a case of dragging and dropping it. Music Radio Creative. That's awesome, isn't it? So let's, um, where are we going to do this? Let's put this here. Another. Okay, and let's get to a place where the meters are moving nicely around there. So let's bring that in over here. 
And then we don't want to do one of those funky transitions, don't we? So again, uh, we got the 3D spin transition. It's a Premiere Pro project like this. Let's load it up now. Ah, it says convert project. Uh, sometimes these projects were made in a previous version of Premiere Pro. No worries, just click OK to that. And then, oh, it can't find something. So we need to go and locate it on our disk. And uh, actually, there you go. It's automatically gone ahead and found it for me, which is amazing. Sometimes you'll need to navigate to the folder um, to find that. But uh, if, if it finds it straight away, then you can just click OK and uh, boom, you are ready to go. So let's take a look at this little project here and we can see that. Look at that. So that's doing the 3D spin there. And in order to make it work, uh, so I want to put it somewhere around here. Going to need some more video tracks. But essentially, you again select everything apart from the MP4, which is the stock video in this demo. And you just drag and drop onto your Premiere Pro project. And I need to get this up a little bit. Probably need to actually uh, zoom out a little bit if I can and place this somewhere along there, somewhere there. So that'll be fine until I can then just bring, pop this up a little bit. Let's pop this up a few levels so we're not overwriting. And now let's see how this spin transition works. There's a little marker in the transition to show you exactly where you should be doing that transition. So let's place it there. Let's do a rough transition there and see how that looks. Another music radio creative looking really good. So again, we can use more transitions if we want. We've got plenty to choose from here. Uh, so I might go in and let's grab that uh, frame transition. Let's open that Premiere Pro project and see exactly how that's working. Again, click OK to the prompts, uh, locate the files uh, as it has done there. Click OK to that. And we are ready with our next project. Drag and drop it into our original file. We can do another transition somewhere around here. So let's do a transition there. See exactly how this looks. Music Radio Creative Tutorial. Okay, that's pretty good. Obviously, my graphics card struggling to keep up with the real-time effects, but you get the idea of how you can easily move these transitions, stock video, uh, the stock audio in. And what I'm actually going to do is double up Music Radio Creative there on the gap and maybe put an effect on it later radio on. Radio Creative. Music Radio Creative Tutorial. So I'll probably just like uh, space that out or add some chorus to it to make it really pop out. Uh, in fact, I can actually do that right now in the audio view by just popping this down and adding a chorus effect. It's under modulation. Uh, let's go for chorus flanger there. And let's go with one of the presets. Let's go with uh, mild tension and see. How does that sound? Radio Creative. Music. Radio Creative Tutorial. There we go. Something like that to just add a little bit of space to the voice. And then finally, the tip I wanted to show you is over in Adobe Audition, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. If you're using music beds uh, like the stock one from Mixkit uh, in your videos, sometimes they get rather busy later on. Like there's a lot going on there and it's hard to hear the voice over the top, particularly if you're doing some tutorial. You don't want lots of synths and actions in a music bed to uh, take over what is happening in the tutorial. So what I like to do is grab a loop of either one bar or two bars. And to do this, it's very easy. Switch on loop mode in Adobe Audition, this button here. All right, grab the start of a beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and go for, let's go for two bars here. So you're literally counting one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's easiest, by the way, with house or EDM music. And then select your loop. That's pretty much a perfect loop straight away. If it's not, you can zoom right in and you can get granular and you can really drag this out to the start of the beat. Then you can zoom out again and zoom in over here and drag it in on the start of the beat. Let's listen to that loop. Okay, I'm really happy with that. So now I Command C or Control C to copy it. And then I Command or Control Shift N and make a new audio file. And we'll call this loop and make sure it's a stereo track. Paste like so. There it is. And then we can drag it into the multi-track over here. So we'll call this one loop as well. And then you simply go ahead, drag in your mix kit loop here. Right click 
and then you tell the multi-track that it's a loop, it switches on this little loop icon here, but it gives you the ability now to do something that's really cool. Uh, you can obviously do time stretching, which doesn't sound so good, but now you can actually drag this out. It's got a loop icon next to the drag out icon, and you can drag this loop out for literally eternity. So if your tutorial is 30 seconds, you can make it 30 seconds. But if your tutorial is like three minutes, you can drag it out until that loop hits three minutes, and that will consistently loop for three minutes, like so. So you've got like the biggest three minute loop of uh, that music track. You can even add a fade out using this little curve here on your loop. And then it just loops round and 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 round, and round, and round like that multi-track mix down entire session. You can save out that loop with a fade at the end as uh, whatever you like, as a WAV file, MP3 file, drag it into Premiere and put it underneath your tutorial. So just a cool tip there. Uh, one final cool tip on this is I would always go into Effects Special Vocal Enhancer and run the music preset over this. What it does is run a special kind of EQ to pull out frequencies that compete with the voice. So another really good thing, as you can see, it's made it a bit quieter. So it's perfect for background music for tutorials and YouTube. YouTube videos in general. So Mixkit have been a great supporter of us as content creators, and I really advise you to go over to mrc.fm forward slash Mixkit to grab all of your free templates and stock assets to use in your next video. So there you go. It's pretty easy to do transitions just like these using the free stuff from Mixkit. Stock video, Premiere Pro templates, and audio music to play underneath your videos. Use the link in the description to this video to grab your free resources now from Mixkit and thank you Mixkit for sponsoring this video.